Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my video. This is Venus Love, and today I really been wanted to make a skirt. I've been seeing this boxer of pyjama shorts all, all over TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, on oh my Pinterest. I really like it, but and I really like the trend. Uh, but I wanted to do something different and see what you guys think. I'm gonna use the, the what I have left from the project that we did last week. If you want to learn how to make this to the top, uh, don't forget to clip and watch that video. And today we're gonna do a skirt. I'm excited. I'm gonna try to make it as simple as I can. Um, I'm gonna use a shirt that I own and a uh, short. No, no short. A short. Okay. That I own to make the pattern and I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to say shorts here first before I cut it on the fabric so I can have the pattern already for my shirt. This is a like cartoon paper that I bought from Lowe's. It wasn't that expensive, it was like $10 and it's a lot of paper. Let me show you guys. You see? I recommend it to get this so you can start making your own pattern for your own size. Um, I'm hoping that maybe in the future I can actually make the pattern to share with you guys so something Plan, okay, it's like a goal that we have. Okay, <laughs> don't forget to like it's a different type of scissors when you cut it, cutting paper or your pattern, and have a different one when you cut your fabric. Okay, don't forget that. What happened is like when you cut, uh, I don't know why, but when you cut paper, the scissors uh, are not as defined as they used to, so that's why you have to use it. This one's for the large print or something, and that's the one that I used to cut my paper. This one for my, this is especially to cut in fabric, so mind that. I'm you guys can see me on my computer. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. What I decided to do is grab one of my shorts and put it on the paper and just start tracing um, around it. And after that, I grabbed my ruler and started making it more sharper better so in that way i can cut a pattern with it if that makes sense yes hope you bye i also wanted to try the pattern right away so i know if it fits so i don't waste my fabric so yes so i just tried the pants and the, the, the shorts i just tried the shorts and they were too small so now i know i have to uh, add uh more length to it and uh, gotta be a little wider for me i think it's actually looking very nice and now we know how to make shorts. It's actually so simple. Maybe with a stretchy fabric might be easier to make a short, but I don't only have cotton, so we're gonna make it with that, okay? Gonna make it more Okay, and then we're gonna sew this part right here. This part here. No, this part, this part. We're gonna do the same thing from the other side. Okay, do 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 do. No, 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 no. So after we finish sewing, you see it's gonna be these two parts. Let me put it here because I'm probably shorter than the other one. You see? Now we are going to grab it in the middle and do this. You guys see it? Now we are going to sew this part here in the bottom. The line. And see how it fits, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> and now these is are the shorts. So you saw these part and the other ones. And now it's open in the blob. I made one a little slightly bigger than the other one. <laughs> Which is fine, it's fine. <laughs> so when I was recording, my phone ran out of space. But now we're good. We're good, I think. Oh, let me turn that off. Okay. So now I make the shorts. I'm gonna try it on, but I'm gonna... Make... It was pretty simple to make shorts. A line here and then a line here. So I'm gonna try and see how it fits, okay? Okay, okay. So these are the shorts. One size is a little bit larger than the other one. They're a little too long for my leg. I will make it a little bit shorter. And now we can start making the shorts. So it's gonna be quite simple. Let me. So what we're gonna do to make a skirt, I just get a rectangle and what we're gonna do is. Oh, I didn't think about this far. What I was thinking is to add it here and then we're gonna just add it over here. But the thing is that I might need to cut it on the side. I'm quite excited. So what I'm thinking is like maybe I could just cut it here and add it. 
So that means the pattern gotta be a little bigger. So now I know. I just wanna show you guys how this will look like. Of course, this is not so at all, as you guys can see. But I really like how they look on me. And they can look kinda trendy and everything, I like it. But you see, this is how easy you make shirts. <laughs> So I have to do a break because uh, I need to uh, organize my kitchen. I'm actually so sad. I bought those uh, flowers yesterday and they're already dying. <laughs> I'm gonna just put more water and see if they maybe get better. Okay, so I just changed to something more comfortable and now I'm gonna show you guys how to cut the pieces in the fabric. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut four pieces for the short, okay? Let me show you. Okay, Dia's gonna be here with us to help us explain it a little bit better. It's really good curl. We are gonna use, I uh, decided to use the back part. We're gonna put four pieces of this, okay? Four pieces, so let's do that. Don't forget to add the saw layers of the pieces, okay? It can be like around an inch or one and a half centimeters, okay? <laughs> Uh, four pieces one two three and four what we're gonna do we're gonna grab two pieces we're gonna face it together oops yes bad <laughs> okay this one here and the other one is here we need to sew these parts okay okay so now that we cut it all together we're gonna grab two pieces two pieces and we are going to sew these part okay we're gonna face it all together so two, we're gonna sew two pieces, only this part right here, okay? We're gonna do that with two pieces and we're gonna do it with the other two pieces, okay? So after sewing this area, I decided to put a zigzag stitch so I can just clean it. So now we're gonna grab our, our two pieces, we're gonna open it, paste it uh, front size together, like this, you see, front size. And we're gonna sew this area here. Okay, so we just have this like this, right? We're gonna sew the, these two parts of the of the shorts yeah, like this. We're gonna sew this part, okay? Perfect. So now that we finish uh, sewing the and this is actually a little bit of half. How we gonna do? Okay? And after cutting the rectangle. So I don't know why everything, almost everything was recorded slow motion, but I was saying that I needed to cut two uh, straps. So uh, that's the only fabric that I have left. So I was thinking, how can I do it? So what I uh, ended up doing was I'm making a large one and then combining two small, okay? Thank you. So uh, I'm gonna use this to make a strap and I have two of these little pieces that I'm gonna sew it like this and after that I'm gonna just make it as a strap. So let's do that. So after I finish uh, sewing the strap, I'm gonna place it on the rectangle that I sew. I'm gonna put it here, kind of almost in the top. And now I'm gonna make a simple stitch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we already saw this one here. As you guys can see here is the strap that I made. So when we open it, we have open it and we turn it around, we're gonna already have it here. So what we're gonna do now, or what I'm going to do, I'm going to close it here and here, and I'm gonna lift it back at the bottom open, okay? Okay, so this is how it looks so far. We're gonna just turn it out and we're gonna air it a little. Let's air it. Okay, so what we're gonna do next, um, we're gonna actually to the other side. We're gonna put our piece. Beautiful piece, I like it. We're gonna put it inside of here. Probably here, okay? So I just finished uh, sewing and see how it looks. It's our really short. Let me show you. Like this. And you just set it like this. Like this, okay? Sure, but let's see how it works. Let's see how it like how it looks. <laughs> oh my god, I just got a lot of hate comments on TikTok because I said I have curly hair. It's so weird. I mean, it was just like 
Okay, it was so weird. TikTok is so wild. That's what I'd rather be on, on YouTube. And now we are going to close the other side, this one. And we're gonna add the uh, strap here, inside. Okay. So I just finished sewing, so I'm gonna just turn it out so we can see. It's not finished yet. Almost there, almost like this. I'm gonna try to show you guys and I'll be back, okay? So I I saw the 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 other part however I think the this part is actually too long for my shorts so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab um my elastic oh my god grab my elastic uh for the measurement let me let me cut it right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sew the elastic the big part like the open part and after that, I'm gonna close it with this so I can see how big it have to be, okay? So I already put uh, the elastic up, and this is how it looks. And I cut this, and now it's gonna be quite here. So I'm gonna sew this part, and then we're gonna cut Hello. the excess of it. Hello! That's how it's looking. I like it. What I'm gonna do is, of course, I'm gonna make this shorter. Okay, like and after that, I think we almost got cut. Let's finish it now. So I just finished the top and the, the short looks. And then I put it on. I think it's pretty cute. I, I look good. What do you guys think? But yeah, uh, this is gonna be a different video. It's not I quite kind of a tutorial, but it's more like follow me trying to make this piece and I say to make it match with my top that I made the other day. Um, I'm gonna continue working on this pattern. I kind of have an idea how I want to make it. So when I kind of finish, I'm gonna show you with you guys. This is more like sewing with me and stuff like that. I kind of felt a little distracted because uh, something that never happened to me was getting hate comments on TikTok, and that kind of distracted me and made me feel a little bit bad. And maybe just not being concentrated and finishing the piece. And that's I believe that's what I made so many mistakes. <laughs> but you know. Things happen, it's fine, just happen when you post on social media, people tend to react or uh, put your opinions and stuff that you guys like the video, uh, don't forget that you're beautiful and amazing, and if you can, you can uh, subscribe and share with your friends, okay? See you next week!